In this short video, I'll share some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts while working with a Linux terminal and command line. Let's start quickly with Ctrl plus A that moves the cursor position to the beginning of a line. It helps when I realize that I have missed something at the beginning while typing the command. Similarly, you can use the Ctrl plus E key to move to the end of the line. Helps when you move to the beginning of the end line to add something and then quickly move back to the end line, end of the line with Ctrl plus E. You can also use home and end keys if you have them on your keyboard, which I don't. Next, you can use Ctrl plus U to cut or delete everything from the current cursor position. I use this when I'm unsure if I made a mistake while typing the password. Ctrl plus U instead of pressing backspace all the way back. Its counterpart is Ctrl plus K that deletes everything from the current cursor position till the end, although I haven't found any good use for it so far. In the same context, Ctrl plus W deletes a word before the cursor. Just the word, not the entire line. Not easy to remember when you have the comfort of the backspace keystrokes. Ctrl plus L shortcut clears the terminal, quicker than typing C L E A R. Ctrl plus D shortcut exits the session, quicker than typing E X I T. Sleek and modern interface. Viewing Visio in Markdown files. And game changing improvements for AI. This is on the Office Docs 9. You probably know this and use this already. Ctrl plus C will stop a command running in the foreground. With this, you stop commands like top or ping and gain the control of your terminal again. Similarly, you can use Ctrl plus Z to suspend a running command and send it to the background. It will stay in the background but in suspended mode. If you send CONT signal to its PID, the process will continue start running again, but it will stay in the background. Use the FG command if you want to resume the process in the foreground. Ctrl plus R is a lifesaver. It lets you find previously run command by starting a search in the command history. Press Ctrl plus R repeatedly to cycle through the matched items. Press Enter to run it. Press right arrow to use it and Ctrl plus C to exit the search. You can always use up and down arrow keys or page up page down keys to look for commands that were run previously but Ctrl plus R is more powerful. You can use the entire previous command with dual exclamation. Its most common use is when you forget to run a command as sudo. You just use sudo exclamation exclamation and at that's done. By the way, you should also experiment with alt plus dot and share what you discover in the comments below. The next few shortcuts should work in most modern terminals. You can use Ctrl plus Shift plus N to open new terminal windows, although using Ctrl plus Shift plus T is more useful as it opens new tabs in the same terminal window. And when you have multiple tabs, use page up and down keys to switch between them if you want to avoid using mouse. I believe you already know that you can use Ctrl plus Shift plus C or V to copy paste in the terminal. Hitting tab for auto-completion or suggestion is not a secret anymore. I am sure there are many more terminal shortcuts out there. I shared my favorite ones. Now you let me know which are your favorite shortcut and stay tuned for more Linux videos. Bye-bye.